It's my favorite part of the show where we get to play a game. I felt like it's about time to play a game with my uh, sugar, boom, sugar. Okay, this game is, is too good. It's all about finding out if you guys know more about mental health. So I'm going to be asking you guys some questions like, uh, is anxiety maybe the only mental health issue that we have in the world? And then I gave you two pages. One of the pages says myth and the other one says reality. So after I ask you the question, you are going to say, Lua, and I'm gonna be like, yes, Letitia, yes, Fene, and you're gonna be like, it is a myth or reality. And then, actually, you guys, you guys can both lift them up at the same time so I know who's, who's right and who's following who, because obviously if you say it's reality and I'm like, no, you should be like, I knew it was a myth, girl, so <laughs> you guys can be a bit competitive in that way. Are you ready? Thank you. Okay, cool. Question number one. Mental health illnesses are something that only adults deal with. Is that a myth or reality? Okay, it's a myth, it's a myth, and that is correct. They are correct. You guys are starting off on a good note, but I feel like that was a bit easy. I'm okay. easing you into the game. It's going to get a bit more difficult. Uh, um, around one in seven of the world's adolescents have a mental disorder. Is that reality or a myth? Is that reality or a myth? Is that reality and a myth? That is a question for people in the control room. <laughs> it is a reality. Oh, okay, stop. two for two. <laughs> two for two, okay. My next one is, not all mental health conditions are the same. Living with a mental illness or being diagnosed with mental health disorder will not necessarily prevent you from living your own life, looking after yourself, or finding your own place to live. Is that true or false? That was a lot to digest. Yeah. Should I read it again? No. Okay, but you guys we'll are go right. for it. <laughs> also, you guys are cheating because oh. you you are, you are, you are sussing me out, seeing what I'm going to say, <laughs> what I'm looking at. But okay, three for three. Well done. Well done. I hope you guys are also participating in these at home. Depression is a common mental disorder. Globally, it is estimated that five percent of adults suffer from depression. Definitely more than 5%. Yeah, yeah sure. definitely more than 5%. <laughs> that is most certainly a myth. The statistic that is wrong, it's a reality. Only 5%? It is a reality. Oh, okay. So apparently we're we all wrong. One, two, three. Even me as the host, <laughs> I was wrong. Okay, that was a myth. All apparently right. it is 5% of adults that suffer from depression. Well, that we know of and that have spoken about mm. it. Next one is mental illnesses of mental illness are for life. There is no recovery. Is that a myth or reality? That is definitely a myth, child. You can go and get yourself checked into <laughs> mental institutions or see a therapist, and that should um, improve your mental health. Which other ways, quickly, that can improve your mental health? What can you do? Um, you can talk with you know people like your friends, yeah. maybe, yeah. and family, Prof mm. professional people. Yeah, Just people that knows about mental health, doctors, okay. psychologists, yes. Okay, right now I'm a bit stressed because I've never had people who are actually drawing on the show. It's always <laughs> one is terribly losing and the other one is just <laughs> flying through or it's like some sort of like back and forth. But these two are working together. See, it shows their colleagues. The <laughs> sixth question is more often than not, people living with mental health issues are not dangerous or violent. Is that a myth or reality? Mm. Mm. What is the answer, ladies here. and gents? <laughs> and she is leading. It is a myth. <laughs> she falls behind. I knew I was going to get them eventually. <laughs> so, ladies and gents, not all people with mental issues are dangerous or violent. It's tough to live independently when you're an adult with mental illness to look after yourself or to find a home. Is that true or is that false? Is it difficult to look yeah. after yourself? and to find your own place if, you have, if you're suffering with a mental illness? Is that a myth? Is that a reality? That is correct. Yay. It is a myth. OK, girl, this is one last question. You have a chance to go back to being a troll, because okay. she's one up you now. The last and final question is, managing and recovering from mental health issues involves seeking help, talking to others with patience and support, you can feel better. Is that a myth or reality? Definitely that is most well. certainly a reality. Okay, ladies and gents, please do give it up for our winner today, who is Auntie Leticia. Oh, man. 
I'm, I'm, I'm glad. No, you, you guys both did great. I'm not even going to try and act like y'all did. And you did that. Ladies and gents, hopefully you guys are also participating in this game. It's not just a game, but making sure that we're giving you fun facts to know about what it is that you need to know about mental health. Right now, though, a quick ad break for you. No, but I see you after this.